Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. Welcome to your weekly love read. I'm doing this as a bonus for my top, I should say probably my uh, top uh, four or so uh, for this particular uh, bi-weekly uh, read that I just recently done regarding love. So this is gonna be a weekly love read, uh, a bonus for you. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, and shares. Keep them coming, guys, keep them coming. I'm using uh, both the star decks uh, just for you, Aquarius. So. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to start with this one here and let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what's happening for you within this week. This will be from the 5th through the 11th. All right. Uh, so let's dive in. What's going on for Aquarius? How are you guys doing? Uh, I am recording this on the 4th. Okay. We've got the full moon uh, tomorrow uh, that is taking place. So um, I thought I would get this out for you just before that, okay? So let's take a look. What's going on for Aquarius? Let's start with you first and then we'll jump over to the other side, okay? All right, let's take a look. Thank you again for all your likes, subscribes, and shares, guys, okay? So what do we have? Okay, what else do we have? Okay, all right. And uh, let's see here, four more. One, two... Uh, three. Okay, nice. And four. Okay, great. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Ace of Cups. You've got an opportunity before you. And I don't know if you're seeing this, but you're going to see it here. All right. <laughs> this is uh, having an opportunity, Ace of Cups. So it's an opportunity to uh, have an emotional connection with someone. All right. Um, there is a beautiful lotus flower that's that's built, that's, you know, kind of uh, blooming here. Um, there's a rainbow coming through here, signifying life. Uh, and uh, you know enjoyment uh, this is compassion and also some intimacy there's a potential if you want it it's the underlying energy it's here if you want it okay uh, so let's dive in let's take a look what we've got in your current position is the Empress energy birthing something new okay so you've got an opportunity to birth something new with the Empress energy this is all about love uh, focusing on values knowing her value whether you're you know uh, you know regardless of gender it's really you want to focus on the energy okay so I feel that this is like the uh, feminine principle okay uh, this is all about abundance and taking productive action if you want intimacy it's here for you some of you already know that you've got some opportunities at hand okay what is crossing you is the princess of Pentacles okay so this what is basically saying here is an opportunity um, I don't want to say this, for a manifestation of a brand new enterprise I almost feel that she's in the middle and look at all this look at all this lush uh, animals and growth and stability and the star that is above her head um, I just I, it's such a beautiful card and even when I look at it there's some sort of grace surrounding this there's some sort of imagination uh, there is um, there's just so much here using the instincts of the fox uh, the having the uh, insight uh, of um, you know I don't know the insight of um, the deer I don't know is what I'm getting here and having the courage of the bear right be right beside her so there and there's butterflies of transformation and visualizing things so whatever it is that you want um, in terms of a situation this is about an opportunity to manifest that all right to be able to put that into uh, bring that into existence is what I'm getting so you're you're able to birth something new and bring it forward to existence for yourself I'm gonna pull another card on this I, I want to see what else wants to come out um, because there's a manifestation of a new enterprise that's being birthed and when the Empress births something there's something new that comes out so you've got you've got the power to have a say in this if you want to okay um, like, otherwise you can kind of see what happens but it's always nice to be a part of your destiny by jumping into it right so uh, otherwise you're left to what other whatever you know someone else gives you right uh, so you know keep that in mind all right what else is coming through Four of Wands, yeah, to create balance, happy home and harmony, and even marriage. This could be in a relationship or connection to create harmony. Now, for some of you, it's also creating harmony at home. Some of you want to move. You want to you want to move to a place where uh, that you can play. You want to feel balanced at. Um, you maybe bet a place that's uh, I don't know. I get kind of in the country, a little balanced. Uh, for some of you, that's the case. 
Um, but it is about bringing balance at home within you as well as your environment around you as well as a relationship or a connection that you have. Um, four of Wands is, uh, fours are all about your private life and subconscious patterns, psychological foundation. You're birthing a new way of being in terms of that is what I'm getting, okay? Anything else for you that wants to come out? What do we get? Knight of Swords moving forward okay this is saying don't move too fast but move forward okay take your time in moving guys forward there's no rush okay don't rush something savor this process for you here okay is what i'm getting let's take a look at what wants to come through from uh, the love cards all right let's take a look at what this is so I want to see what uh, might want to die, what might want to come out for you here. The Knight of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might have uh, some sort of uh, air sign coming towards you uh, if that is not you taking on that energy. Okay, you might be dealing with an air sign. Let's take a look. Anything else that wants to shine through? What do we get? Yeah, Happy Home. You know, this is again confirming wanting to come out. You're creating a happy home environment. You're very content at this moment, guys. Um, maybe that you have lost the spark between you and another person. Give me a card on this. To, let's confirm this a little bit more in deep uh, in level here. You're in the spotlight in some way. Some of you are already in the spotlight. Maybe you your work involves being in the spotlight. Um, that could be the case as well. But you're moving on, and um, and you want you want to bring harvest to the situation. Um, you just feel like maybe uh, you, maybe you just feel that there's a sense of divine timing involved in the situation. Um, you feel in cloud nine when you're with this person, but it's kind of like something's something's not moving here. I don't know why. Um, let's take another look at this. Um, anything else that spirit might want you to be aware of regarding uh, where you're at right now? What do we get? Oh, a karmic completion, okay? Some of you some of you have ended a karmic cycle. It doesn't have to be with a person, a karmic. This could be just your own karma that you're paying the debt on and being able to now break free from that, okay? And so I feel that that's, gonna, that's a big case. And some of you are kind of taking a time out after reaching this pentacle, you know, this, this pentacle of, of getting to the 10, right? Um, the 10s are about... Uh, some of you, it's about career and vocation. Some of you, I got to tell you, you're going to be recognized in your career, uh, your vocation. Uh, this could be a new opportunity that is also coming through. Might uh, even, yeah, I, I kind of get that. Some of you would say to get out and get some physical activity. It'll bring greater balance in your life. This reduces to a four. So physical activity is going to be important. Just don't, you know, stay at home or get out, okay, is what this is saying, right? And maybe that pertains to those of you that are dating, you know. Uh, that's going to be key. You'll have a better communication with spirit, you know, that's crown chakra and third eye and communication. That's a throat chakra. If you get outside, I think it's going to give you more downloads of this, you know, kind of completion here. All right. What you need to focus in on is the Knight of wands moving forward passionately towards adventure is what I got. So you're moving forward passionately. And you know, this is like, having the power of the sun behind you this is your sacral chakra energy this is solar plexus energy um it's just powerful positive energy and being able to transform what you have you know whatever it is that you've gone through it's it's about using your resources and and, and fertile energy to create something new um now the knight of wands is could be someone that's moving towards you motioning forward if this is not you if you do not have you know, air in your chart, or you could just be taking on the energy, um, but there is a, uh, I get fire energy coming through here, okay? And that's motioning forward. Even though that things are hidden with Pisces energy, okay? We've got a full moon that's happening tomorrow. Uh, this is, uh, it's in Leo. Pisces new moon is on the 19th, but this is uh, coming to fruition. So there's like a path to the moon. This reduces to a nine. Um, and the nines are coming to fruition. It's almost like that path is going to be, you know, lighted up. And then the, the moon is going to illuminate that for you. And this is about balancing oneself. You know, you've got the, the two dogs, the two wolves, uh, the light wolf and uh, the dark wolf. Um, and uh, I'll put a video up here, guys, regarding what that means, you know, to kind of how, how it can explain this card. So you'll see it up there. Um, but that's what it really talks about is that something that is hidden is going to come into play. And you might, uh, 
it might be coming through, okay? Um, what you need to focus in on is that of which is hidden that you can transform energies on. Uh, give me another card on this. Eight of Wands, to move things in the same direction. You're going to travel. You're going to change something. You're going to move something differently. There's a change happening here, okay? So the eights are about growth and change. You've had some sort of peak experiences that brought some sort of lightning within you, okay? It shifted your energy a bit, okay? There's a transformation and an in-depth interaction with others that has changed you and it and, and it's it's it, it like never before okay is what i've got it's changed you like never before so it's kind of like you can't go back to what you already have known in the past there's a sense of change taking place so you could be having to travel change and movement some of you could be moving maybe there's a, a you want you to focus on change whatever it is don't stay the same it wants you to change your energy get out in nature a second confirmation after physical activity get out in nature that will connect your heart with spirit to bring down, um, uh, to help you. And this reduces to 11, and that'll help you with global awareness, and uh, it'll also help you with humanitarian efforts that you might be doing, all right? Anything else? A spiritual partnership. You could be coming together with someone. There's a synchronicity between you and someone here, all right? It's more than just a love relationship. I feel that there's a spiritual connection here, all right? And it, it grounds both of you. Like spiritually, you're both grounded and you, you meet on that plane. It's kind of like in the 5D you meet there and then you're, you're trying to make it happen on the 3D, right? Um, the recent past is the Tower card, okay? So whatever this was, it was a good thing because in your strength position, you got the Nine of Cups. It brought a deep sense of satisfaction and comfort along the way in that process, okay? Sorry for the glare there, you guys, okay? So this tower was a good thing. It's in your recent past. It's what's springboarding into the reed, but it brought forth purity. It brought forth an opportunity, uh, you know, to really, uh, really create something uh, different here for you here. Uh, give me another card on this uh, uh, tower card from the recent past, what we get. Yeah, it brought forth healing. Like you're recovering, right? You're recovering from something, Okay. And maybe you've gone through something and uh, regarding a situation and are in love. But then whatever it is, you're being much stronger in love. Look at the dove on top with the love card and the nine of cups. I mean, wow, that's really a big opportunity. Let's take a look a little bit further and clarify the nine of cups. Whatever it is, your strength is about being satisfied and in comfort. So do what makes that happen for you guys, okay? Uh, it's part of your journey and mind expansion and your search for meaning on what you do or what you want. So it would be, uh, it would be, uh, you know, it it'd be a good thing to do. Let's just put it that way. Okay. What else do we get? Yeah, because you get the Ace of Swords. You get the clarity that you need. This is the this is victory. You get a, this is a, a a potential for 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 victory and clarity here. And you just needed to take some time to stop for a moment, and then you get the Ace of Cups. You get the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So clarity regarding intimacy and a connection that's it's ready to bloom, that it's before you. Remember I said that you had this at the bottom of the deck. You had an opportunity for here and it's showing up in your strength position again. There's, a, there's something to be learned about a connection with someone, all right? And it's an opportunity to take a chance and get clarity but I think you needed to kind of feel comforted at this moment, or at least, you know, uh, kind of stop for a minute, pause, get some healing done before you could actually see this, okay? I mean, it's like you know it was there, but I, I just feel in your, in your strength position that, yeah, it's time to reach out. I think that in your strength position, it's reaching out for a meetup. So I'm getting this coming through here. You know, pay it, seeking attention and planning a meetup for, with a connection because now, it looks like you freed yourself from any sort of burdens of the past, and now you feel free enough to be able to do that, okay? I think anything earlier just wasn't wasn't working. Uh, anything from numerology, though, that spirit wants you to know in your strength position, what we get? Financial discipline. You've been focusing on balancing and healing and focusing on financial discipline as well. Um, you know, so this is just being careful of where you place your money and it, and that's fine. It wants you to continue to do that. Um, but there is an opportunity for intimacy because you freed yourself from something that you needed to heal 
and something had to come down to make that happen but i do feel it had to do with a karmic completion your karmic cycle you've ended your karmic cycle um in terms of your karma that you've paid your debt on now in the near future all right i gotta pull a clarifying card on this um in the near future there is some sort of um uh some sort of heartbreak and anxiety and then I get the uh, page of swords coming through here that is very curious and energetic, okay? And it leads you to thinking, is this real or is this imaginary? You know, why is this person coming towards me or a message coming through that almost seems like, um, I mean, you've got a lot of options, right? But it wants you to take action, okay? you got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. You see how now that you've come, ended the karmic completion, a new shift of energy in the near future is coming up. So this is ruled by Jupiter. So what I get here, it's lucky. So hold, the, hold on with me again. You've got this three of swords and this anxiety from heartbreak. This is being, you know, heartbroken, all right? Anxiety, 3 a.m., staying up. But here's the thing. The prince of swords is that you've discovered something. You've discovered, there's a message that comes through Gemini, Libra, Aquarius about a situation and it has you thinking, okay, well, it's an option and now you've got your options here in the house of partnerships. It's a seven card and that has to do with house of partnerships, uh, even marriage or one-on-one -on -one connections. And now you're able to get rid of the veil of the illusion. There's clarity, right? There's clarity in the darkness that is showing you emotions and then this is saying, take action and move forward on faith. Don't give up on love because one, don't let a, one heartbreak make your life, uh, make a heartbreak for a lifetime. Okay. This is saying it's time to get up on that horse and have faith and balance again, that light and dark side. So again, that's why I'm going to suggest that video guys, that it's which one you feed, right? So take a look at that video that I've mentioned, but we're coming up again in the, the chariot, cancer energy moving forward. Okay. So that's what I get. I want you to take action and move forward. Um, and you could be getting a message from a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I get air and water energy that is coming through here. Just tells me that in the mind that you're making some changes here. Okay. So some, some significant changes, anything else in your present uh, moment um, as you move forward. Now is the time to heal generational wounds. Learn to cope differently, guys. Try new patterns that actually feel better this time, okay? And if you need help with that, guys, uh, uh, hence beyond the read, you might want to check that out, okay? Uh, or rapid change session. Um, so do check that out. But now is the time to heal these past generational wounds. And, and I think that you guys got it, okay? Anything else? Move forward on faith, all right? No more feeling empty, okay? Uh, or feeling love sick, or feeling that love is not for you. Um, it's going out there and having faith and moving forward. You can discount any sort of uh, superficial expressions, all right, and, and, and you know, dodge the obstacles. Um, some of you maybe not, might need to take a vacation to get away, okay? And then what else? Um, whoa. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. It's time to balance things out. Things need to be a little bit more equal in a connection is what I'm getting, okay, that you might be connected to, all right? So there is a sense of balance that needs to be made, all right? Someone is, maybe you're focused on being a boss babe and independent and strong. Uh, that could be the case as well, okay? Uh, but this is getting rid of any sort of negativity, all right? And anything else about your, um, your near future? Transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your love life and become the person that you want to be or the person that you want to have in your life or create what it is that you want to see in love, right? That's what this transformation is all about. It's here. It's presented before you, okay? Now, how you need to move forward, this is crazy, guys, because we got one, two, three major arcana all in a row. There's a shift here. There's no doubt. There, and you've got four here, and there's, there's more coming through. But, you know, just to focus in on just right away, your suggested approach is hermit card to go within. Now, the hermit is uh, really focused in on Virgo energy, being analytical, this is like learning how to 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 uh, take care of yourself internally and be wise and to uh, amidst the obstacles and also to serve others. So that is what is coming through. Okay. Anything else about your approach, uh, your suggested approach moving forward? Go within, guys. There is some in, in wise information that wants to come through. What do we get? Yeah. 
Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. So in your love life, it's 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 like you you're transforming, right? And this is saying is you are putting those that that new muscle, that new knowledge into use. Okay. So what you glean from being in a higher level and seeing the bigger perspective and connecting with source and being strong, um, you know this and what you've learned, you know, uh, in the past, your intuition and healing powers are going to guide you to something better. Okay. And what else? King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is coming through here, okay? So you could be coming together with someone that is a King of Swords, all right? Give me another card. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is letting go of the burdens. Some of you are letting go of the burdens on another air sign. Now, it doesn't have to be the same one, or maybe that you're if you're dating another person, or whatever the case may be, but it is saying that, you know, to let go of the uh, what has held you back, um, in terms of a situation, let go of the burden of something. Okay. What can help? Yeah. The emperor energy and, and, and develop a strong, solid foundation. Don't move forward until you get that strong, solid foundation you're looking for Aries energy. Okay. That's all the Kings together. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're looking for that, that, uh, uh the big daddy, you're looking for the emperor here. <laughs> okay. All the Kings together. Um, anything else that wants to reveal itself to you, um, in terms of your suggested approach, what's going to help Aquarius get out of your head and reach deep into your heart and to your emotions right now. Time to use your emotions and express what you need to know is the Hierophant energy, Taurus energy. Okay. Uh, dealing with authority figures, you know, like spiritual and moral development and having this search for meaning. Taurus is really determined for a search of meaning, okay? And this is what this card is saying. What you need to know is to search for meaning at, uh, during these obstacles, okay? So during the obstacles, search for meaning, okay? And uh, your hopes and fears, justice. Like you hope you get justice, your fears that you won't. Libra energy. So this is saying really focus in on that, Okay. And then the card that I get right after that is King of Pentacles, being very disciplined and controlling, all right? Let's pull a card to actually get a little bit more on that one there, the King of Pentacles. Um, you're going to get balance here, okay? Uh, King, of, King of Pentacles, what do we get? Nine of Pentacles. Wow. This could be you taking on that energy, or this could be uh, perhaps uh, someone who's got Earth in their chart as well. If you're taking on this energy, this is someone that is uh, single at this moment perhaps, all right? Give us, and give me more. All right. She's got everything. And now it's like the icing on the cake or just, you know, really the whipped cream on your, you know, frappuccino, whatever that is for you here, hot chocolate is to get a person in your life. And look what I get. Ten of cups. Emotional bliss. This is what you're focused in on. This is, you've got someone coming in. This is like you've taken control of your love life in for the ten of cups like to have the bliss that you want. Wow. Uh, anything that's going to help you within this, anything else that wants to come through, someone's thinking of you and they can't get you out of um, their mind. Okay. Now you could be thinking about someone as well. Yeah. Evaluating on, on thoughts and actions of the past and spending quality time together. This other person on the other side, let's just jump over there a little bit. What do we get? Uh, Knight of Pentacles. See, I get Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. There could be a, there could be another earth sign that you're connected to or, um, or not another, but I'm just saying there could be an earth sign that you're connected to. Okay. There could be an earth sign. All right. Coming through here. That's going to come forth. All right. Or they might have earth in their chart. Okay. Um, so what I get Aquarius is that like, this is the six of wands. This is victory. This is like taking control of the situation, making vic having victory, progress, and success. So you're getting success. Because you're taking uh, this person over here that you're, that is, this person's getting some sort of success and some sort of victory over something. Okay. And then I get the Ace of Wands, new inspiration. This person needed that before they come through to you. Okay. This person needs that. Uh, anything else or where this person is at right now? Yeah, there's been misunderstandings and confusion. And this is about time for them to speak up about it. They're being asked to speak up about it, okay? It's time to confront the issues and make a move for this person. What do they need to focus in on? Okay, nine of wands to persevere and not give up in the connection, okay? There again, that light and dark side, uh, you know, of the wolves, all right? Use their instincts. And then the ten of pentacles. 
Now, this is saying is to balance things out within a connection, okay? Uh, their legacy, their union, all right? Give me a card in the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Four of Cups brings stability to their, uh, their foundation, to their wealth and security. They're persevering on wealth and security right now. They're focused in on that. Uh, anything else? What do we get? And they're feeling sad, guys. I don't know if there's a connection that, and, and they're, 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 they want a makeover. They want to move forward with charming gestures and they want to, uh, but they're focused on their investments and their family roots right now. What's their strength position? Uh, we get the two of swords. They're making a decision. I don't know if guys that, let me just look a little bit more. What's this decision about? Decision is the eight of swords. So this is about, they're looking at something from one way. They're not seeing another way that they could look at this. And what do I get? Four of swords. This is all about uh, 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 rest and recuperation. Before they make a decision, they're getting rest, okay? And then I get the eight of pentacles. And the eights are all about uh, engagement, getting more information. They're getting more information before they make a decision, guys. They're not, they're not ready to make a decision quite yet. And then I get the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone who's calm, intuitive, and compassionate. And the Lover's card. Wow. Now, you could have water in your chart, or they see you as very calm, intuitive, and compassionate. And I get Lovers. They're making a decision um, on the Lover's card, Gemini energy. Okay? So, interesting. Anything else in their strength? Yeah, they want to set up a get-together. Now, in their strength position, they got set some time together to celebrate. In yours, they got reaching out. You, you're said you got reaching out. And you're on financial discipline, and so are they. Um, anything else in the near future for this person? Um, they could have been sneaky in the past, and a wish is coming true to fruition. There is a wish that they want to come true, uh, and it's coming true. You could be their wish. Uh, Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be that. This is uh, that energy. They want to. They want to see a transition. They want to transition uh, from the from the adversity of the Five of Swords. And I get the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles talks about uh, making investments into things that are going to reap rewards, all right? And a brand new beginning with the Fool card. They're ready. A brand new beginning. Wow. You guys, I'm going to take this to an extended to find out with this new beginning. What does that mean? Now that they're there, uh, now what does that look like? Because I get you both connecting in your strength position. Um, and I do get that there's a spiritual partnership and that this person has uh, gone through some sort of shift in their life in making a decision. Um, and it had to do with their foundation, their financial stability. But I get a new beginning starting here. This could be a new job or, or a new opportunity. But I think in love reads, it's going to be strictly going to or a brand new beginning. Uh, so we'll find out what they haven't told you, what they want most long term, what their next steps are, what time is surrounding that. Um, and uh, we'll find out what you hope the next steps to be. Uh, what you uh, haven't told them, what you want most long term, uh, and then, of course, how you feel about each other, and then a potential outcome with Oracle Advice. You guys know I dive deep into that, so if you're interested, we'll find out what's happening all this week with this new beginning happening and a reaching out and when that will be. Click the link in the description box below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.